The festival got into high gear over the weekend as private jets zoomed in and out of Mandilieu Airport with many stars aboard. Sean Penn, the lead actor of Black Flies, famously skipped all the glitzy parties in favor of selling his documentary on Ukraine. Meanwhile, his first-time con partner, Ty Sheridan, was in awe of the successful premiere of the film about a young paramedic who gets a crash course in life-saving techniques while working with a grizzled New York City veteran. They're sweet, aren't they? Very. I can see that. She's unapologetic. A newcomer to Todd Haynes' female-driven world, Natalie Portman joined Julianne Moore in her fifth movie with the director, who tapped into his favorite subject, women. This time transgressing age, morals and all boundaries in his May-December movie, produced by Will Ferrell. An eight-minute standing ovation made their collaboration even sweeter. And then, surprise, surprise, long time no see Jennifer Lawrence showed up on the red carpet and the photo call. We haven't seen her since she took maternity leave, but this time she came to come as a producer of the Afghan documentary Bread and Roses from director Sara Mani about three women as they fight for women's rights and to recover their autonomy after Kabul fell to the Taliban in 2021. It's quite a large step forward for Miss Lawrence, who hasn't walked the can red carpet since her Hunger Games days in 2013, exactly 10 years ago. The king is awake. Henry. Close the door. No festival would be complete without tapping into England's royal history. So Alicia Vikander and Jude Law came to promote Firebrand, a film about the dark rule of Henry VIII and how his sixth and last wife, Catherine Parr, outsmarted him. The premiere with the sun finally shining again brought out the big names. Carla Bruni in a royal blue Saint Laurent, Marion Cotillard in Chanel, Michelle Yeo in a green taffeta Balenciaga, Rose Bertram in a revealing black gown, Naomi Campbell in Chanel, and the star of the movie Alicia Vikander in a pink Louis Vuitton, supported by husband Michael Fassbender. Jude Law arrived at the carpet solo, wearing a classic tuxedo, a mustache, and a boyish smile, anticipating and getting a standing ovation. 